dead. What on earth are you doing leaning over the fender of that 73 satellite? Yeah, just talking to her. Were you talking to the 451 stroker that is now minus two cylinders because, well, which by the way, I know it just rained, but can everybody please just marvel that I worked my butt off trying to shine this old crappy paint up and today is just not a good day for showing off this crappy, slightly shinier paint than it used to be. <laughs> I mean, it's got some kind of reflection. And of course, I hope you guys have enjoyed the three-part series. We are back because there's a problem with them plug wires and the solution is right here. Stupidly expensive plug wires but solve a lot of issues because these headers there's not a lot of great clearance for plug wires with some of these headers so i figured ceramic boots would be a good move and well we want to keep with the red mallory theme and so mallory ceramic boot wires here we go dad are you ready to craft another beautiful set of plug wires i don't know how many i got left in me well i'll probably help you on this one I did the darts. They're not too bad. But. I about that one tube that goes. Yeah. Go underneath it. Oh, we'll get her figured out one way or another. Alrighty, so. We're getting ready to do all this. We got all of our stuff on our bench, which is the pickup. Because instead of being in the garage, it's nice out actually here in December for once. But we got our really nice Mallory ceramic boot ends here. Our two bags, one of these we'll use, one of these we won't. Leave these ones we're gonna need. We got our wire tools, our little cup of lubricant we use to put everything together with. So now we're gonna commence with making hopefully a nice set of plug wires and get this old girl back running so that way I can justify buying tires for her. The Jigs plug wire assembly tool is, don't buy the big kit here because they don't come with the right crimping in for these uh, eight millimeter wires. They ain't nothing special. Uh, we looked at all the jaws. These just destroy the plug wires. And these actually look like spark plug wire crimping jaws right here. And these are the only other set in here that even look anything like anything. and. Those completely obliterated one of them, and the other ones fell slightly. Another issue is these things don't fit spark plugs worth a dang. We're having to douse the insides and outsides with WD-40, and I'm sure dielectric grease would help, but I am paranoid about putting anything like that on there because when we did this actual, this engine's actual cam break-in, we put dielectric grease on all the plug wires, and literally when this thing was doing the cam break-in, it was shooting the plug wires off. So I don't put that kind of crap on there. But it's just a fight getting these things on. But we can get them on there. Should work. Oh, and another thing, Mallory. What is up with charging over $100 for plug wires? And we don't even get any dang stickers. And the instructions are, well, you don't really need instructions. But still, that's kind of abysmal. Seriously. Come on. Some stickers? Really? Oh, and we're back. Minus a little bit of a headache from yesterday with the uh, old crimping tool. We got this actually pretty nice little kit from the old Amazon. Just Chinese crap, but it came with a whole little selection of assortment of ends and terminals and went ahead and gave it a good old test and pretty nice little crimp job. So with that tool, which is actually cheaper than the whole wire crimping tool from the jigs thing. I just, I don't think it had the right dies in it. I think that's the only issue. It's a nice set of ratcheting pliers. It didn't have the right dies. And, well, MSD wants $50 for that die. That whole kit was 40 bucks. So, with that, we're now going to 
Go get wires assembled on the satellite on Dad's birthday. All right, satellite. Your time has come because once a frog, you're going to get fixed and we're going to make you run so that way we can finally have an excuse to buy some tires that aren't as old as I am, probably. Not really. But anyways, so now we're going to get back to the hyperlapse and putting the new plug wires together for this old girl. And by hyperlapse, I mean I'm going to get back to filming it and you guys are going to get back to watching the video. Hyperlapse, by the way, Dad, can you poke your head in frame here? Say happy birthday to Dad, everybody, in the comments below. How old are you, Dad? 20 flood. 20 flun? 20 flood. That's a good answer when you go to the liquor store, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to get ready to do here now is we're going to make a coal wire. I just want to show you this. This is the coal wire that came off the car. Okay, that's our old crimp, okay? Now we're gonna show you the kind of crimp you can make when you have the proper tools and you're on a hillbilly. Alrighty, leaving the tripod safety and we're going into the power line, high line, 451 stroke or big block. This actually looks kind of impressive, dude. Camera, all those brand new bright red spark plug wires and the red of the valve covers and the red engine. Yeah. It almost hides all the crap. Everything that's wrong. Wish the other side would lay like that when you can't now the other side which we'll take you over there and show you in a minute but we're making these spark plug wires this one we didn't have to cut the end off these wires actually have all three jaws you need the wire the cutter end the end to start the crimp and the end to finish the crimp which is that guy right there very important to have that in to make a nice crimp dad's ready we'll show you all right, so this is out of our kit, the little brass straight in there to go with the uh, rubber straight in we're putting on the coil wire because it's what it's supposed to be on the distributor end. Mm -hmm. So you fold, yeah, you fold your little end over there backwards, slip it in there, and then this you just take a single crimp. I don't think you got to do the rounding over. Well, I just kind of yeah, pinch, get her started, pinch it a little bit so it don't slip around. You put the round in the round cradle down there in the bottom. Try to push it out. Yeah, there we go. Push it out there where it's even with the jaws. Cool wire's a little different. You ready? Yep. And when you pull it out, look at that. Versus the hillbilly method. <laughs> I think, I think the, uh, this is like a $40 kit. You get all those terminal stuff from Delgada, or we'll call it the Delagu. Well worth the purchase. But like on this other side, so I racked my brain on this a hundred different times and basically seven is looping down way below that rag joint, which eventually we're gonna get rid of that and go with the U-joint system. Uh, five right here, well, wanted to keep it as far forward away from the rag joint, the stuff that spins and is dangerous that ripped the other two. Three, that just seemed like the best place to put it, and it's the only way it goes with that ceramic end. And one, well, I kind of wish I had it coming back this way just to match the rest, but it's already made and short, so it's good enough. So, that basically concludes the plug wire scenario. What's next, Dad? I thought we'd put some... We got to do some addressing on that starter cable. On the starter cable. Yeah, since the engine got moved around so much, our harness down there is kind of in danger zone, so we're going to take care of that here in a bit but after that we got to go celebrate dad's birthday alrighty dad are you ready for this crap I reckon so she's either gonna explode or not and hopefully it just runs yeah, God. so here you go 
Everybody, you have been warned. Dad has the camera now. <laughs> Hopefully we got all the plug wires assembled right and we got them all in the right plug, but you showed I'm pretty them all. sure the driver's side of the engine, number one is over there, right? Over there in the field. You know, <laughs> a couple of commenters said we had number one wrong in that 3D3 and according, if I go by their logic, number one is that way. Way over there. Somewhere over there. So I think we got it right this time. Well, I think we we might have forgot a few things, but I think we built a few of these. It's not like we put this one together on camera or any other engine. Alright. Cold start December 23rd. Great to have this one back and running again. Oil pressure's good, and she is just running excellent. And they say a 73 can't be a muscle car. All you gotta do is build a pretty freaking neat engine and add your own flair and your own style and vibe. And of course, have some freaking fuzzy dice, duh, and a footprint gas pedal. That is a necessity. Still got great oil pressure coming up to temperature. How are we doing? Well, nothing's on fire yet. That's a good start. Let it warm up and this be a success. All right, well, we got the air cleaner back on it. We've got the temperature running damn good. Well, what do you guys say about it, Dad? Hey, Mom. Mom doesn't want to be on camera. Yeah, well, you're running pretty good. It is. You gonna go rev the crap out of it until it explodes this time? No. Or do you want me to do that? I need to do it. No, I don't want to do that either. No. It's just good to see the old thing running, shining, and just not being blown up. <laughs> huh? The seat does move, Mom. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you 
for watching the video, but now we got to take a quick break because we have shirts now. You guys asked for them, and we had them made. Wait, not this one. Those are too expensive. I'm going to regret doing that. All right, so we had shirts made at a local t-shirt company. So you asked for them. We had them made. Full color on the back. Sorry, Anna would be modeling, but she left her shirt at home, and I don't think an XL is going to fit her too good. It doesn't fit me that good, actually, either. Maybe I should go with the 2XL. I think wait. you're looking pretty nice on camera. But anyways, we have sizes from medium to 3XL, all men's sizes. Shirts are 25, and right now we're looking at roughly 10 to ship, but don't quote, don't take that as a full on quote. We need, we have an email set up. It'll be in the video description. So go down there, and we need you to follow the directions down there. We'll have name, address, all that stuff, sizes, quantities if you're super cool and Anna will be in charge of all of that so if I missed anything here she is alrighty so it sounds like I didn't actually miss anything and I almost forgot about that <laughs> thank you Anna so also everybody please give Anna a huge round of applause because she is handling all of the shipping of these shirts so as soon as uh, my, my sleeve round of applause for Anna I'm a mess Thanks. now so back to the video Thank you guys so much for your support and for wanting all this merch because now we got it. We only have 200 shirts, limited run of this one. Once these are gone, maybe we'll make more. So, back to the video. Hope you enjoy. It's alive! It's alive! I don't know why the old car was acting up a little bit. Oh God, mom was in your last. All right, dad says we got uh, between the ad and full and it's still crystal clear, so that's good. Of course, I was looking at the oil pressure from way over here and mom kind of scared me a little bit. I thought she was gonna do burnouts and all sorts of crazy donuts and stuff, but I reminded her, probably a good idea that there's kind of a hole in the sidewall of that tire. Okay, well, I'm gonna fire her back up, man. Put her down at first, she's at 25. Of course, this is the engine completely warmed up and everything. You just got a stock oil pump on there. Yeah, well, that's what it had before, too. But this pump may not be as good as the old one. That old one used to be made about a year ago. Picks right up though.
might just be low enough. She might be running a little bit lean. Probably need to pull the plugs and see how she is there. I told you, Mom. And Mom got on. When Mom went over the train tracks over there, she was full speed. I think I got her breaking them loose right here, which is first problem is. Yeah. I think I got it, but I didn't shut it off right off. That's okay. Well, I don't see anything wrong. Everything sounds normal out here. Oil's clean. I guess it's like 45. It's not quite 50. I don't know. Well, satellite. You ain't getting us this time. We're ending this one with a frickin' victory. Headlights still work. Good. Well, on a happy note, fellers and non-fellers and everybody in between, we hope you enjoyed this oh, video. Wait a second. Oh. Well, everybody, fellers, non-fellers, everybody in between, I want to thank you from Bob Hart for checking out this video and, of course, any of the series on the old satellite. And, of course, a shout out to the birthday man himself, Dad. Oh, he's always been here and gave birth to me and, of course, Anna for doing Anna stuff. All right, due to people keep calling who won't <laughs> give me a minute to freaking finish filming a video, I was saying big thank you to the birthday boy himself, Dad, and, of course, to my mother. Who... Anyways, and also thank you to Anna for always keeping my tea glass full. And a thank you to all the viewers for always watching this crap and for finding some kind of entertainment. And if you bought a t-shirt, also thank you because that's how we can keep making some of these videos because YouTube doesn't pay for crap anymore. They never have, but yeah, now I'm extra broke. So anyways, thank you guys for checking it out. Look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye. Bye-bye. You guys totally just missed me like roller skating in the gravel to get, to get everybody. But anyways. Bye-bye. Eat it. Want to say hi?